After a failed relationship, Claire Danes wanted to stay single. Then she met Hugh Dancy. She wasn't sure he was the one, so she put her feelings to the test. Claire did something so crazy, it made her realize what had been in front of her the whole time. The couple has now been married for 15 years, but their relationship hasn't been short of any challenges, and they even had to spend years apart. Claire and Hugh had the typical Hollywood first meet, on a film set. The pair were introduced when they both starred in the 2007 film Evening, and from what they've said, it sounds like they fell in love pretty fast, and they didn't try very hard to keep it a secret. My main job is to fall in love, which is great. Their co-star, Mamie Gummer, shared, I was there when it happened, and it's something that I'll never forget. I'm incredibly happy for them. They're perfect for each other. But even though the new couple was quickly smitten with one another, Claire had some reservations. She had just gotten out of a serious relationship, and while she was pretty taken with Hugh, she didn't want to jump from one relationship into another one. In fact, she had to make sure that dating Dancy was the right decision. She confessed that before she officially committed to dating Hugh, she went and had a one-night stand with someone else. So your imagination runs riot? And it was after what she described as a palate cleanser that she had the eye-opening moment. She realized that Dancy was, in fact, the one for her, and she didn't want to waste any more time with anyone else, and her time as a single person was over. She recalled having a crystal clear moment that she understood, oh sh**, I think I'm going to marry this person, she thought of Dancy. And Hugh knew all about it. She told him about her one night stand, and in an interview years later, Dancy joked, uh, I can only say that I'm, I'm really glad that my wife chose to have a one night stand with an inadequate lover. From that moment on, Claire knew he was the one. The two quietly dated until the actress confirmed their relationship while she was on David Letterman in June of 2007. Hugh and I met in Rhode Island when it was at its most audaciously beautiful, in the fall. And there was one day where we were bicycling by the water and it was sparkly and idyllic and I just had this dumb epiphany, like, I'm really just happy. She gushed about their first meeting. They decided to make things official in 2009 when they married in secret in a low-key ceremony in France with just their family and a few close friends in attendance. They kept most of the details of their wedding pretty private, but one of their reps confirmed the news and fans couldn't have been happier for the newlyweds. Marriage is wonderful, it's challenging, and it just keeps getting deeper. She also added that her marriage with Dancy made her feel safe, and it comes with a few bonuses. She trusted him, admired him, and always wanted to make out with him. She felt like the luckiest woman in the world. The actress also explained that all relationships take work. But she was so relieved to have found the right person to live side by side with. She said, I find it very freeing to know that, okay, it takes constant nurturing and attention, but I can also stop looking for the one. For his part, Dancy sings just as many praises for his wife and how much he loves her work. During an interview, he revealed that he couldn't get enough of how dedicated Claire is to her work and everything else that she does. She tries to be very honest, without artifice, in what she does, and it's so hard to do that and be interesting and create something big. But their marriage wasn't short of its challenges. Hi guys, please help us grow and create more exciting videos for you. If you enjoy this story, kindly share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel. In fact, because of their work, the couple had to spend quite a few years apart while filming in two different locations. He was busy working on the show Hannibal in Toronto, and Claire was living in North Carolina while she was filming Homeland. The distance took such a toll on their marriage that the actress said it was not something she would ever want to repeat. Claire confessed, That was tough. That distance is corrosive and I'm just bad at it. And I don't particularly want to get good at it. If their time apart taught them anything, it was that they preferred being together, and they needed to make as much effort as they could to make that happen. What if we had a few goofy kids who got our jokes and taught us some new songs, huh? Thankfully, Hugh was cast in a role in Homeland for its final season. Though they never got to shoot any scenes together, they were relieved to finally be living in the same city and working in the same space. Even if one of them had the day off, the other would come and watch them on set just so they could spend time together and watch each other work. Um, and you're pregnant. I am. Congratulations. Thank you. The couple welcomed their first son, Cirrus, in 2012, and Claire confessed that even though she loves being a mother, it came with challenges she'd never faced before, and she was learning to work her way through them. She said, We all have that resentment at times and anxiety about being trapped by the role, that responsibility. 
and then chemically it can run Riot, and there's no off button. They welcomed their second son, Rowan, in 2018. The actress knew she had to do things differently this time. During her first pregnancy, she worked all the way through to her 8 month, but she wasn't going to repeat that mistake. What was the most challenging stunt to perform throughout Homeland's run? Well, the first thing that comes to mind was doing stunts when I was seven and a half months pregnant with Cyrus, my first son. She wanted to make sure she took more time off for herself to prepare for baby number two and get all the rest that she needed. Claire also opened up about a part of parenting young children that many parents could relate to, the total lack of personal space. In an interview, she said, you always feel beholden to someone, and for so long they're like koala bears. You just feel a physical responsibility to be for them to cling to. It's pretty primal. In order to make sure that their marriage works and they keep each other in the loop of everything going on in their lives, the couple set up some ground rules. Hugh explained that they're probably not the kind of rules that would work for other couples since their jobs are pretty unique. As an example, the couple needs to run potential work locations by one another because they've had to do the long distance thing before and they knew how difficult it was. So they need to make sure that any future filming locations aren't too far, and if they are, they need to plan around it. Nancy explained, You have not rules, but things to aspire to, like not being apart too long, basic stuff. Don't take a job in Australia without telling me. From the moment that he made Christmas ornaments with her to now, Claire and Hugh have definitely been putting in the work to make their marriage last. It's no secret that the world of Hollywood is notorious for its failed marriages, but this couple seems to be the exception. From their mutual respect, maintaining rules in their marriage, and toughing it out through long distance, they're determined to do everything in their power to make it work. And privacy seems to be one of their secret weapons. Let's not forget that they've often gushed about how grateful they are to have each other in their lives. They're totally aware of how lucky they are to have found the one in their true happily ever after. At the end of the day, isn't that what we're all looking for?